today I will be breaking down some Carl Lawson and how he has the ability to take over a game, which is something the Jets haven't had on the edge in a very, very, very long time. Uh, he had a dominant performance this past year against the Pittsburgh Steelers, so let's get into some of this film. So we'll start out in the second quarter, and we're just going to see really a, a nice play. Yes, he is an edge rusher that gets after the quarterback, but how about getting in the backfield like that to make a play pretty quick? Uh, nice play. Obviously, he probably shouldn't put a tight end over there to try and block him because it's not going to go well. All right, at this point, the Bengals are already up 17-0. He is at the top of your screen facing up against the left tackle area, and he's just going to get into the backfield stupid quick and cause a big play. little punch. How about a strip sack? Steelers recover, but look how quickly he gets into the backfield here against a very good left tackle, mind you. Look how strong. And then he's right there. Here, let me back that up. Just play that down. Swoop, I'm going to be in the backfield, wrap up Ben Roethlisberger. Oh, by the way, a strip sack on top of that, too. Now to the third quarter, up 17-0 uh, still, 13-34. So this is early in the second half. The second half performance in this game is just truly really special. Any second now. Come on. Here we go. Again, this time around the outside, working on Villanueva, it causes a pass that's too high, an incomplete pass, but this is, again, just another pressure in the backfield quick, showing his speed and bend around the edge. Gets there quick, causes the pass to be high. Pressure is important, and that's exactly what he brings. Brought a ton of pressure last year. Here we go. This one's in the third quarter as well. 17-7 at this point, about 6.30 to go. And they're driving, but just look at, again, the speed, the ability to get in the backfield quick and be disruptive. Causes him to throw it away, an incomplete pass. A uh, completed pass, but for virtually no gain. Look how quickly he's in the backfield, taking on two guys at this point. That's just, that's strength right there. We saw his speed before on the other one. Now he's just going to overpower an offensive lineman that has, what, 50 pounds on him, if not more? Impressive play, again. Okay, to the fourth quarter we go, 24-10 game. He's did a really excellent job of closing out this game, which is something that edge rushers can't have the ability to do. Uh, he's on the bottom of your screen now, going the other direction. Inside, causes a throw to be high, inaccurate throw. Why? Because there was pressure in Big Ben's face. Who was it coming from? Carl Lawson, something that happened a ton that game. He's on the right side of the line, working on Villanueva still, gets inside and gets in the backfield quick. 2.17 left. Okay, now we're going to see some really big plays from him at this point. He was on the opposite side and caused Big Ben to roll out. So yes, he wasn't close to getting a sack, but that pressure caused Ben to leave the pocket and roll out. He's playing on the opposite side this time, so working on the right tackle. Goes deep, says, okay, I'm just going to run around this way. And oh, Ben says, okay, my pocket's collapsing. I'm going to roll out. And this throw was incomplete. 204, so just a couple plays later. Third and 10. So this is a big play in the game, obviously. This is a big spot. Lawson's back to working on the left tackle, Villanueva. And just uses strength, gets back in there. Uh, it is an incomplete pass. And I, he wasn't necessarily close to getting a sack, but just getting in the backfield quick and then being able to break free off his block. So he's pushing, pushing, pocket moves over, he comes back, 
and gets a hand on him. It was just a couple seconds late, but nice play there. Fourth and 10, so next play at this point. Ball in the 24-yard line. We're going to close out this game right here. Bottom of your screen. Gets a hit on the quarterback, passes too high, game over. Bengals upset the Steelers. We'll watch it from the reverse angle. Again, this is against a really good tackle in Villanueva, too. Just gets downfield, hits him, bad throw, ball game over. It's that simple. He had a tremendous game. A sack, forced fumble, six quarterback hits. He was all over the field in this game, and that's why... You can be excited about him joining the New York Jets. Yes, the sack numbers weren't necessarily there last year, but he is a major difference maker on the defense.